Hey, how y'all doing? Aha. Listen, y'all might see me more than one time today. Um, reason why is because I'm trying to, um, more or less these videos are for Facebook. But I'm posting more on YouTube because y'all are part of the family and y'all probably want to know what's available and what's not. But that's not what this video is about. Well, it's about the puppies. But it's about my idea on how the breeding is going to come out. My idea or what I feel and what I'm looking at, I'm thinking that these puppies are probably going to come out the way I'm thinking. A bigger version of Taz, big blocky head, uh, would drive. Uh, some will be coming out. I bet you some will come out in the middle, loving, would drive, but they most of all loving, you know what I mean? But you're going to get a nice explosive. When I did the breeding, I was expecting the match of the blood to try to get another Remy, to be honest with you. I was trying to make a, another Remy when I did this breeding. And if you don't know who Remy is, you, you don't know the, the most famous Loat Jack. Remy Martin, baby. Remy Martin. Nah, yeah, but when I did this breeding, I seen Taz was a grandson of Remy, and I knew what Denzel Blood can do. And I knew uh, nobody really did Denzel to Remy. So I was thinking, okay, if I do Denzel to Remy, can I produce another Remy? But this is where the mindset come in. Taz is almost like a Remy. He reminds me of his granddaddy and his face and the way he acts. The way he acts, you could you could be around the family. You could play around the family. You know, I mean, I mean, you could he could be around the family, play around the family. But let an outsider try to harm his family or be next to him, you know. And, and he was, and he's a very dominant dog, you know. Um, he's a very dominant dog. He doesn't really fool with other males, you know. And then another thing is, uh, 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 Taz. He, um, he's all he, uh, almost like a Remy. If you look at a lot of Remy, uh, Remy throws a lot of males. And that's what Taz does. If you see, don't get me wrong, Remy has some nice females out there, but you've seen a lot of males with Remy. And Taz just reminds me of Remy, but in a seal color, you know. Um, so that's why I did the breeding because of the blood and the mentality. And Taz likes to be bred naturally. He doesn't like to get pulled. Now, Remy probably got pulled in his life and his career as breeding. But, you know, it's not like how, uh, it's not how, um, some of these dogs like to get, you know, AI and anything like that. Taz, when I brought, when we brought Kira down there, Taz wanted to breed naturally with her. He wanted to breed naturally with her. He didn't want no help. And that's something what I wanted out of the breeding. I wanted healthy dogs. I wanted to bring that spunk back into the American Bully doing this breeding. Because Kira, yes, she's a friendly, friendly dog, but I know y'all seen that short one day where Outsider came in and he pissed her off and she went berserk, you know. But other than that, Kira's a good, loving dog, and the same thing with Taz. Taz is a big, beautiful boy who who has a lot of drive and is very protective. And you know, uh, Taz owner was telling me a story. Somebody was trying to come in his backyard and he had to show him who was boss. You know, and that's something that Kira would do. Don't get me wrong. Kira might act scary around the house and, you know, act like a big-ass baby. But when it's time to protect her house or protect me, in per se, or tell somebody, hey, back up, chill, she's going to let you know. She's going to let you know. And that's what I like. That's what I wanted. To, that's what I wanted to bring back into the my program. I wanted to bring that drive, that athleticism, and I also wanted to bring that mentality of a good dog, a, a dog that's gonna protect, a dog that's gonna breed. And this is a breeding that's probably gonna set my program, these males are probably gonna set my program up to the next level. And probably, you'll probably hear from them probably from, you'll probably see these dogs in the next 10 years from now in my yard that probably made a mark, you know what I mean? So that's something that I wanted and my idea and picture of the breeding and how the breeding was supposed to go. Now, it may turn out left, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to turn the way I wanted it to turn, the way I sat back and 
paid attention and paired the two dogs up together. So Facebook, if you like the video, subscribe. Well, what is it subscribe on Facebook? Yeah, subscribe, uh, like, you know, comment, do your little thing. But, um, oh, and YouTube, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I am out.